<laughs> so Jonathan says, "Hi, sir. Hope you're well." Okay, and then he says, "Thank you, and hope you're good too." He says, "So my girlfriend and I broke up, and now we are trying to work things out. Can relationships after breakup work out? Why not? Why wouldn't it?" It depends on if you guys can start understanding what the roots of breakup is. And most often, the reason that the relationships don't work is because mostly is based on physical attractions. And everything physical has a duration. It doesn't matter what it is, everything physical in this world has a duration. But if you notice, most non-physical things, whether it's energy or spiritual or certain connection or kindness or love, these things don't usually uh, fall apart or don't usually fade away. They leave a good mark in one's consciousness. So the whole idea must be focused on bonding on the consciousness level, not on physical level. Because... As you know, your consciousness is put together in the same way but differently than any other person, depending on what kind of a family you were raised in, what kind of a country you were raised in, what kind of traditions you followed, what kind of customs you had, what nationality and religion you had, what things you read, what teachers you taught you, what schools you went to, what people you met, what experience you were exposed to, what movies you watch, and all these things, and dogmas and rules and regulations, and many of them actually without you being in this world yet transferred from thousands of years ago through the habits and conditionings that was actually transferred to the next generation, so on, it all came to you and formed the consciousness that you have and each person in the same way but different way the content of their consciousness based on what i just explained is so therefore when you guys get together and attracted only on physical um, level and you like each other and that's the sexual part the physical part that's what we are programmed to look for mates and so on however that is a joy of getting together but when you try to commit yourself and you don't try to bond on consciousness the consciousness level that joy of physical interaction physical attraction will become will turn into pleasure because you now harnessed it you got together you are in a relationship and that joy that has turned into into pleasure that is a beginning of, if there is no bonding on consciousness level, it is a beginning of boredom. Because any contact and interaction with a physical entity or physical thing eventually becomes known. And when it's totally known, there is no unknown in it. There is no surprise. There is no development in it. Then there is no joy. It's a pleasure and the pleasure is beginning to be boredom. So use the time that you're interacting physically and you're infatuated physically in order to understand and bond on consciousness level because that is what is going to keep your relationships together and help it develop and become to a different level that even when the physical infatuations have run their course but it is so fresh everything because on the level of changes in your consciousness you guys constantly also balance it out and get to know each other and new things about each other and it's always become exciting and something that the bond will never be easily broken as physical bonds can so if you take this opportunity and try to reconcile but try to understand the reasons that you guys broke up. Not just, I said this, you said that, I didn't like it, you should do this, and you should obey me, you should obey me, or you should follow me, you shouldn't do this. Not that sort of stuff. Understand that you guys have two different consciousnesses. And your order, the way you like things to be done, is different than the order of the other partner. 
Because when you were single, you had your own way of doing things in life, and you had your own order and norm of living, your own mechanical processes, the way that you had created psychological security for yourself. And now that you got together in a relationship, your order, your way of doing things is interfering with the order of the other person and the other person's way of doing things. And the other person's doing things is interfering with your order. Therefore, you feel uncomfortable at the beginning. Once that interaction, physical interaction is now normal for you and the infatuation time is over, then your orders begin to annoy each other. And after a while, you begin to compromise and you create a new order, a complementary, combined, harmonized order. And when you guys break up, this order that is now new, but yet it's become your order, both of your orders, again breaks down and you go back to the way it was at the single time. And then that's going to be a little bit hard for you for a while. So if you understand all these things that you got to deal with each other's orders, understand you got to deal with each other's consciousness, what's the content of it is, and use this time of reconciliation to bond on that level, understand each other's on the consciousness level, then you have a far better chance to make it work. Otherwise, you will always going to break up because you tend to bond through a physical interaction. And the physical interaction cannot bond so well because everybody thinks, oh, I've had this, I'm used to it now, it's not that exciting anymore, so maybe there's something wrong with him or something wrong with her. So maybe I should go now find somebody else because I want that excitement again. Well, that excitement in every case, eventually becomes non-excitement as much, uh, not, not as much as it used to be. So you must understand, to keep your life exciting, you must bond on the consciousness level. You must understand what love is, what unselfishness is, what understanding each other's orders are, how to work with each other's order and create a new order, a common order, and on that basis, lift your life and advance and develop further and further and make the bond stronger rather than just letting it become old. <clears throat> Hope that is something for you to think about.